It's Sunday, February 25th here at the West End Gun Club. It's a little bit just before 6.30. I got here around 5.20. Woke up early, decided to come out early, setting up for the February 2024 NRL 22 match here at the West End Gun Club. Uh, the rains in the past few weeks wrecked this entire rimfire range impact area, lots of ruts. And I didn't bother spray painting when I did my run through of the target points because I figured the rains were gonna wash the paint off the ground anyway. So I'm right now I'm spending all my time just getting all the targetry set up again, finding out where the proper placement is and whatnot. But I'm like halfway done, so we should be good. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get finished up, finish setting up before people arrive. Semi-automatic rifle shooters can leave the bolt closed when changing position during the stage, but must engage the manual safety and verbally indicate the rifle stage prior to changing or moving positions by yelling out the stage so that the stage officer or whoever's running your line or your squad can hear you. Anybody running semi-auto today? You and me? I'm actually going to run my thing with my thing today. So uh, just remember, we'll follow the rules on that one. Come on, stop swinging. Impact. I shoot faster, but the target keeps Yeah, I see it. Impact. Impact. Safe. Shoot. Uh, get it. No bag. Small, large. Large, small. So one more small, right? Yep. Impact. Right. Drop two. Yep. Drop two. That was bad. You got plenty of time, you let the target settle if you need to. Shooting, drop the one down. Clear, shooter safe. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by.
90 seconds still. Don't worry about it. You got 20 seconds left from that last uh, shot. Two. 
good tag. You kind of want to build it. Give it a good tap. Yeah, I like those taps. Good tag. Boom. Seconds left. Um, Eight minutes like seven seconds left. Okay. <laughs> Drop one. Good shooting, Wayne. Yeah. Oh, Father, ready? Yes, sir. Now look at Scarty right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the target. You're starting now. I gotta learn how to do that stroke. It's probably helpful to actually. Good job, Joe. Not back on. Impact. And I can feel it. I'm like, just breathe. Just breathe. I can feel it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I didn't even get the email, so I showed up. I did stop the water, so I was like, I'm a If you don't make me even more frustrated when I hit the small target, I know. I saw that bullet just ricochet straight back. I need to do mag change, don't I? But what I want to do now is uh, I'm going to try to machine slots in it. Probably do you make a little difference if you machine slots in here? And then I'm going to make a bag that has Velcro coming out of the seam here, up and over. And you can just thread it through and Velcro it. Oh, that's right. That or I was even thinking of doing a Velcro a bag with the back. With the soft here. Uh, six overall, open would be Garrett Johnson with a 330 out of this year. Fifth overall, open class or open division would be Gio Allegria with 353. Um, first base division, I didn't know you were shooting base today, that would be Rael Rini with a 400.10. I owe you a little dog tag. Uh, third place overall, third open, will be myself with a 461.55. Top two, we got second overall open division. That will be David Sullivan with a 461.70. And then first overall, first open, will be Wayne Sen with a 504.82. Great team. Um, I owe you guys tags. You guys will show up there. Recording a quick outro, I already left the range. I'm just outside on the, just before the main road. I need to rush home and then ditch my gear and then maybe take a shower and then I gotta drive family to the airport, LAX, later. So I need to get out of here and take, you know, take care of my gear before I head out. In any case, it was a good match. We had 25 signups, I think, or 25 total names, but five no-shows, but we had 20 total participants today. I shot my 1022, uh, placed third. I shot worse than I wanted to, but better overall than I expected all things considering I thought I was I would have been lower I guess after I saw my score but I think I was third place and I lost second place based on tiebreakers or you know on the bonus stage but 1022 takes a lot of getting used to shooting again I haven't been using it at all and so I mean definitely got used to it but I'm gonna probably shoot it again at the next match and uh we'll see how it goes because I just really want to get more time behind the 1022 because I hardly ever shoot it. Anyway, uh, that's it for this match. I mean, not much to say. Next match is going to be fourth Sunday in March. And I will be coming out to the range again tomorrow probably to do a run through of the March Course of Fire. However, I know that uh, 22 Lima Romeo already released his March 2024 overview. So definitely check that out. He runs. He does a good overview. His is well produced and he, he keeps it concise. Unlike me, I still shoot the range vlog style, so mine is a little longer. I do a lot more discussion, uh, kind of free-flowing conversation. So if you want a more concise one, definitely check out 22 Lima Romeo, his videos. He's got a great run-through of the NRL 22 matches. Anyway, that's it for today, Sunday, February 25th, here at the West End Gun Club. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog.